It's just so crazy how these feel, especially if you got it in boost mode, man. This is this is some wild tech, bro. Like you can see it just See, it almost like it's moving my legs for me, bro. I got something right here, man, that's gonna give you guys superhuman powers and it's gonna make you faster. Now, you guys might've remembered my previous video when I actually had a chance to try out the Z1 exoskeleton legs. And so far, if I gotta be honest with y'all, man, it has been one of the most useful pieces of tech that I've tried, all right? Until today. This is saying, oh, you thought those were good? Then you need to check out the X1 version, which has a completely different design that I think you're gonna like just as much. And they weren't lying because these are the ones, all right? Let's talk about it. So today's video, man, I wanna actually show you guys scenarios that I think is actually gonna be more everyday things that you guys would do, like going for a walk with your dog, or running, or just going up and down hills, which is where I feel like the X1 exoskeleton legs would actually help you guys with all of these things, which we're gonna get into. So let me go ahead and show you guys real quick everything that you guys are gonna get and a little information about them. Now the densest exoskeletons are born in hospitals where their first product line was designed for patients with neurological and skeletal injuries. Now their CFDA certified hip exoskeleton has already helped hundreds of patients with neurological exoskeleton injuries to be able to regain their mobility. Now the X1 is a mass produced product that is already available for sale, which I'll have a link for you guys down in the description section below. And it is also currently the only consumer level exoskeleton company that is offering products for two different joints. So now that you guys know a little bit about them, man, let's go ahead and take these bad boys here outside so that way you guys can see what it can do. Now putting everything on y'all to me was super simple. You just hook the back battery up to the waist belt and secure the strap around the waist, making sure it's parallel. Then connect the straps around the thigh area, giving you guys that added support. And you can turn this dial here on the side for further adjustments. Then you just press and hold the button on the back to be able to turn it on. And then you connect it right up to the app and then double press it to be able to activate the exoskeleton legs. And just like that, man, you ready to start moving. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man. It's kind of hot out here. So I'm out here, I'm walking my dog. He's literally behind the camera. He just took off running somewhere, but I'll find him a little later. Again, this is normal activity, what I'm doing here, which I feel like most people are actually gonna do as far as getting exercise while also walking the dog at the same time. Now, while I'm actually out here walking mine, I currently right now have it in the assist mode or one of the two modes being the assist mode, which is a wild feeling if I'm gonna be honest with y'all, man, because it literally feels like I don't know, it's weird because it feels like it's literally assisting my movement and just making it easier to just kind of move around. It's almost as if it's walking for you, but you're still kind of in control, if that makes sense. Now, it will also reduce fatigue as well as enhance endurance during your movements as well. Now, on average, it can lower your heart rate by up to 20%, y'all, and it can also decrease thigh effort by 45%. But one thing, man, that I want to see is, will it actually make me you know what I mean? Will it make me a faster runner out here, all right? All right, y'all, so I'm out here at the park right now, man, as you can see. So I'm actually gonna test two different tests with this mode right here. Now I'm actually gonna start all the way down there and then I'm gonna walk my way all the way back up here to the camera and then we're just gonna see if it actually makes me faster. But first, let's go ahead and start with the X1 here off and then that way we can kind of get our time and do comparison. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm right, ready to start the walk and uh, let's get ready to go, let's go. And I'm just doing kind of like your normal everyday slow pace, nothing too crazy. You know, just a normal walk. Okay. All right, so walking was 28.18 seconds. All right, now the next thing I wanna do here, I wanna go ahead and run with it off. We're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna start all the way down there. I'm gonna run up here to the camera. Now again, don't judge me because back in my collegiate days, man, you know, my 40 time was, you know, I was around a four or five, all right? So we're gonna do that. And then I'm gonna come right back up to the camera. On the mark, <laughs> get set, go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right that was 5.36 seconds and i lost my hat <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and put it back on and then we're going to walk and then we're going to see if our times is actually going to be faster according to everything it should make me faster all right let's do it all right so now we got the walk test with the x ones on let's try it out whoa <laughs> that boy's got me moving bro <laughs> that's wow bro this is crazy 23 Six five, bro. That's crazy. You ready to do the run test? All right, let's do it. Three, two, one, go. Oh, 
4.34 seconds, man. That's crazy. So to me, y'all, I think whether it's running or whether you guys are walking, man, I still think that it is safe to say that it will make you faster. But the main thing that I did notice when I was using this, whether I was off camera or whether I was on camera that you guys have seen me here walking and running with it, one of the things that I noticed the most was it didn't feel as tiring with my legs as it did whether I was walking and running with them off. I didn't feel as fatigued, if that makes sense. It just felt like I could walk or I can run a whole lot longer, which to me, that's dope. Now, hold on, y'all. Let me let me put it in aqua mode. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, that's it right there. Now this mode here, y'all, is called aqua mode, which is the complete opposite of the assistance mode or the boost mode that I was just telling you guys about because in this mode right here, y'all, it is meant for some crazy increased resistance for improved muscle training as well as core strength that's actually gonna burn twice the calories compared to regular walking whenever you guys are just kind of out and about. Now I just kind of want to describe the feeling of these on my legs. Like you really feel the freaking resistance, man. Like I feel like I can get a full leg workout in with these bad boys here on. Like it's kind of trippy y'all, but I can feel the short term and what the long term benefit of this feature is actually going to do for me, especially if I'm out here in the park and I'm just walking about. I really want to feel that burn and just lose a lot of those calories. I can just take this as a walking exercise, whether I'm by myself or with somebody or just kind of walking my dog out and about. Like it is super impressive, man, just the amount of resistance that this here with the mode on it actually gives you. Now using this for the time that I've actually had it, I'll usually start off with the assistance mode and then kind of later on switch the workout. I'll just switch to this aqua mode here and then really kind of get that burn in that I'm really wanting to get to be able to burn those extra calories. Now as you guys can see here, man, I'm walking around with them off and normal. And when you guys actually take them off, it's like your legs just feels lightweight, if that makes sense. And it just felt like you just went through a full leg strength training, which I've played football here in high school as well as I've played in college college and we used to wear ankle weights all the freaking time which would actually help give us the resistance whenever running or walking which would in turn would help you run a whole lot faster and just be more agile but now since I have the Densis X1 man I can actually use the aqua mode for a whole lot more greater resistance and when I take them off and just walk around and run around I can just still get that same level of feeling that I would have when I used to wear those ankle weights or it actually feels even better with the mobility training now I'm getting ready to get up out of here because I want to head to an area and show you guys with heels so that way you guys can see the benefit and just kind of let me tell you more about them so the x1 has a 900 watt powerful motor that delivers powerful assistance as well as proprietary high torque motor to be able to ensure strong performance with minimal heat generation which is a huge thing because this way whenever you guys are wearing it and out and about you don't have to worry about any overheating issues or anything like that especially on the days we've been having here with the weather being in the 90s and even sometimes in the hundreds like it be cooking out here all right and you guys can see here man with me just kind of running out and about the extra assistance or the boost mode that you get it really makes a difference man and you just can feel like you're just gliding or just flying with these bad boys here on now another thing that i like about these is the adaptive ai algorithm now i know you guys are like well see kid how can these actually have ai in them well along with them actually being lightweight at only 1.6 kilograms it's super comfortable man as well as it integrates with the body naturally so let's say i'm sprinting like you guys are seeing right here and i stop abruptly the assistance will immediately stop preventing me any extra force naturally being put on me that could actually make me fall so while you guys are wearing them it's always knowing and paying attention to your movement so that way it knows exactly how to perform in all situations now for the heels like you guys are seeing here behind me man or whether you guys are walking uphill or downhill i actually want to show you guys the difference so i'm actually going to start with them on like you guys are seeing here and i'm going to walk uphill as well as downhill now while i'm actually walking uphill the heel in itself with the existence with the assistance mode actually turned on taking large steps i just felt like it made it a whole lot easier it's like you don't really get again any of the fatigueness like you would normally feel whenever you guys are walking uphill as well as that extra added pressure on your knees as well it's almost like it's somewhat pushing you up the hill it's it's really dope y'all so let's go ahead and just take them off now and then i'm going to show you the same thing and you can kind of see here a little bit of the struggle and just way more added pressure on my legs as well as my knees whenever i'm going uphill now when i actually had them off like this it's definitely way more work that is required on my body in order for me to be able to make it up this hill now once you guys had them on and then you take them off it's almost like you immediately want to just put them back on because you know that there's an easier way and you won't have to make your body work as hard now 
Now, real quick, y'all, there's a few things I want to kind of talk with you guys about while I finish up my walk in here and go find my dog somewhere. But the first thing is how compact they are. Now, you guys can see right here just how easy it is to be able to just fold these down to the size of an A4 paper, which actually makes it really easy, man, to be able to carry these out and about with just one hand, which is perfect if you guys are somebody out there that likes going for hiking trips or you just like to go for a nice long walk in a park or just something like that. Now, the next thing I want to talk to you guys about, which I feel like is probably going to be something people are interested in, and that is the battery life. Now, in my opinion, y'all, when it comes to testing the battery life, it's really good. But mainly, I just like how easily it is to be able to replace the battery in literally just two seconds, which is only weighs 300 grams for just a hassle-free maintenance, all right? Now, one thing real quick I want to talk about, because you guys already know on the channel here, I talked about the Z1 in a previous video, and obviously we're wearing the X1s here. I kind of want to talk about the differences that I've personally tested and noticed about the two. Now, one of the things being starting with the Z1, right? I feel like the Z1 is going to be more so for those people that are really outdoorsy people that really loves to be able to go out and about as far as hiking uh, as well as just somebody out there who may need that little bit extra of a boost in your walking ability so let's say for example if you're somebody like me who has had knee surgery in the past sometimes whenever I'm walking upstairs or walking down a hill and different things like that I need that extra boost to be able to kind of get up there without having to have all of that pressure on my knee joints right so I feel like this is where something like the Z1 is really going to come into place whereas I feel like with the X1 here I feel like these are going to be a little bit more sporty if that makes sense so meaning that you're somebody who is you know kind of an avid walker or you are an avid runner and you just kind of want that extra performance and boost as well as being able to lower your heart rate obviously you can do that with both of those devices but I feel like the X1 is going to be more designed for those people that are more kind of active in regards to more fast-paced movements if that makes sense but then you also someone who likes to train so you can put it in things like your aqua mode which is going to allow you guys to kind of again have that resistance to be able to burn more calories but either way i do feel like both products are good i just feel like they serve two different audiences and the last thing i want to talk about y'all is just how instant wear it is meaning that all you guys got to do is just adjust it for the first time and then after that you can just put it on in a matter of like five seconds now once you guys get the hang of it it's like putting on and changing clothes it, it just becomes second nature now overall y'all i do feel like the densest x1 here man is a great product and it is a product that has become something that I will personally be continuing use on my daily walks to be able to help just with just kind of like my overall health benefits like reduction in lower heart rates as well as just my body just not having to work as hard to be able to get the same outcome and results that I'm wanting so if you guys are somebody that's like me then you probably also will be interested in something like the X1 here as well I have a direct link for you guys down in the description section below for you guys to be able to check out and also learn more thanks to Densis for sponsoring today video i'll see y'all in the next one squad we out now let me go find my dog somewhere <laughs> dex